Hi, welcome to my channel. I am working my way through the giant mountain of boxes behind me that accumulated while I was sick in April and May. That's going to result in some double unboxings like today's double birch box unboxing from April and May. Um, I am actually not sure which one is April and which one is May, but we will um, figure it out uh, or not as we go. Uh, if I'm a little scattered, I had a little fender bender this afternoon. I talked about it a little bit more in a different video. Um, but let's see if we can um, soothe my frustrations with a little makeup and skincare. Uh, Birchbox is rolling out some changes. These boxes were um, subscriptions at $10 a month. However, their subscription price is going to be going up. The new price depends on whether or not you're a current or new subscriber and how long you have been subscribing and so on and so forth, but I believe the general price is going to be $12.50 per month. They are also rolling out another change that has me giving them some serious side eye. They posted a letter that they will now be sending out duplicates because trust us, you should try this stuff again even if you hated it the first time. Yeah, I, I have no love at all for that policy. One of the best things about Birchbox has been that you did not get tons and tons of uh, duplicates, and I am pretty sure it is not going to be fabulous samples of Sunday Riley that are coming out as duplicates. It is going to be 5,000 Ico black eyeliners. So I'm a little disappointed. Uh, coupling the duplicates with the price increase I don't know, this could be the sign of a train wreck or not, but I am going to stick it out for a few months and see what happens. Having said that, let's see what I have now. It has a female founder collective card inside and the lid says together we are unstoppable. So I believe the theme of this month is uh, female founded brands. And then on the back of the card, we have the contents. I will not look at that, so hopefully we don't spoil any surprise. Okay, so the first thing in our box this month, and I do believe I picked a curated box for April, so hopefully this will all be cool and fun, uh, is the Oribe After Beach Wave and Shine Spray. So I have been getting tons and tons of dry shampoos in my subscription boxes. Um, and maybe it's a hint that I desperately need a dry shampoo, but they kind of annoy me because I tend to not need one. My hair is pretty full and pretty thick, and I would have to not wash it for quite a while to obviously need a dry shampoo. Uh, but I was super interested in trying this texturizing spray just to give it a little something to play with here. So this is something I'm definitely going to be trying out really soon. Uh, then we have a Marcel Black Mascara. Uh, to be honest, Black Mascara does not excite me at this point. I think I get one in every other subscription box. But um, it wasn't a good reason to turn down this box. So we will try it and see how it works. Though at the moment I am loving the Butter London Mascara so much. I can't imagine switching to something else just yet. Okay, then we have a product from Lipstick Queen. This is the Morning Sunshine. Uh, you know, I know these are dinky little samples, but I can't use up a full size, size lipstick for love nor money, and I think these little Lipstick Queen samples are extra cute. So here is the uh, color in the tube. It is supposed to react with your body chemistry and give you a lovely custom color. So I have swatched that out there and it is sort of a yellowy, orangey, peachy color. So I think that will actually be really nice to wear and I do love the consistency of these. They're not drying and they give you sort of a nice satiny look. So that is definitely a win. The next thing we have in here is a Kula Classic Face Sunscreen. Uh, this is another fallback item for subscription boxes this time of year, but I kind of dig the Kula sunscreen. And um, I mean, even when it doesn't go well with my makeup and I don't want to wear it on my face, there's always the whole neck chest area, which you don't want to use something too harsh on. So 
I can't object to having extra tubes of sunscreen. Then we have the Vasanti Brighten Up Exfoliator. It is an enzymatic face rejuvenator. It doesn't really smell like anything, and it is a thick, lotiony consistency here. So uh, I was actually expecting something a little more liquidy, like you see with a lot of those enzymatic face cleaners and um, exfoliators. So this is actually going to be um, different than I was expecting. I will definitely be uh, excited to try that. I haven't found a really good exfoliator I like. Usually if I'm building up some dead skin, I just break out my good jeans and um, let it do its job. Okay, then from Amika, we have the Velveteen Dream Smoothing Balm. Uh, I would not have considered this to be um, an item that really appealed to me, except I got uh, a couple of samples of the Amika um, Deep Conditioning Treatment. I can't think of its proper name. And um, it was amazing. I actually bought a whole full-size tub of it. And so... Um, I really did want to try this smoothing balm when I saw that was an option, so this really tipped me into getting this particular box. And then the last thing we have in here is also from Amika Velveteen Dream. It is a shampoo and conditioner sample, and it is getting into travel season, so for once I am not going to gripe about foil packets of a shampoo and conditioner. I am just going to tuck it in my travel bag and enjoy it. So... Overall, I'm actually, you know, really happy with this box. It was a curated box. I didn't know what I was getting, so it's not like I was jumping off a cliff. But I think that Lipstick Queen lipstick is really nice, and the Amika products were definitely a plus to, to tip me into picking this box. Okay, now the sample card says that the full size of the Lipstick Queen is $25. The full size mascara is $15, which that better be a really nice black mascara. Uh, the full size of the smoothing balm is $25. The full size of the enzymatic face rejuvenator is $34. The full size of the uh, wave and shine spray is $44. Um, so while I hope I enjoy this, I hope I don't enjoy it so much I want to keep using it all the time. Uh, and then the full size of the Kula sunscreen is $32. Uh, I do really like these samples. I think they are a good value. I think they do reflect um, an upgrade consistent with the raised prices. So I'm happy about this box. I really am, and I'm looking forward to trying everything but the mascara, basically. So let's see if that holds true with the May box. Uh, I was sick at the time. I have no memory of ordering this at all. I think I customized. Maybe this is a curated box. Maybe it is not. I have... It was delirium. Well, that's all I can say. I was on so much cold medicine. Let's hope for the best. Okay, here is my May Birch box. I actually love this box itself. It is going to uh, definitely be repurposed. This uh, swirly, silvery pattern is just, it's awesome. So the first thing we have in here is the card from Birch Box. Um, and on the back, it does have the selections. So I will set that aside to avoid ruining the surprise. Okay, so the first thing in here is um, a MAC 3D mascara. I have yet to figure out what I'm going to do with these super mini little mascara samples from MAC. I have probably, I have a bunch. There might be a drawer full of them somewhere. Definitely a little makeup bag full of them somewhere. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you really dig MAC mascara, you could subscribe to some sample boxes and just keep yourself stocked. And then the next thing I see in here is the Tipsy Lip Oil. I'm not actually sure what to make of these uh, lip oils here. Oh, but that does feel nice and soft. And it is slightly tinted. So I think that will definitely be nice to use, especially when I run out of my favorite lip mask. Okay, then from Balance Me, we have Congested Skin Serum. 
Okay, it is supposed to diminish blemish, blemishes and calm inflammation without causing dryness or irritation. Um, all right, that will be something to try. I don't get a lot of breakouts anymore, but I do have one fallback product. It's a little hard to find anymore, and it usually sends me running off to eBay. So it will be interesting to see if this can uh, take its place. So I will definitely set that aside to try when the time is um, right or wrong, as the case may be. Okay, next we have the Oribe Dry Texturizing Spray. Um, I am almost sure I have tried this before. I have no memory of whether or not I like it. But I have heard a lot of other people say they like it, and so I am definitely excited to try it again and see what I can do with it. Uh, and a lot of these Oribe sprays in the uh, sample boxes tend to be of this dry texturizing spray. I just have not gotten a variation that includes it. So this does seem to be their fallback uh, basic product. So again, it will be nice to um, have some experience with it while I'm paying attention and trying to see if I actually like it. Okay, then we have something from Marcel City. It says it is tinted cream SPF 25 sunscreen. And it comes in uh, this little uh, paper flyer thing. Okay, but when you get inside, it is just a little bitty tube. Uh, it is tinted, but I did get fair, which is the appropriate color for this. Ah, I see the purpose of the flyer. It holds the giant ingredients label, which would absolutely not fit on this little tiny sample. Okay, so here is what FAIR looks like. It, it does seem to be the right color, which is always a bit of a danger with tinted sunscreens. Uh, it feels very soft and silky. It has blended pretty well into my skin here, and it does not have that uh, sunscreen aroma. So I am very excited to be trying that. And then the last thing I have in here is the Anti-Wrinkle Miracle Worker Primer. All right. Well, I do have some wrinkles. They could stand to be corrected. I have no recall of selecting a um, anti-wrinkle primer, so perhaps this is not a curated box. Uh, it is the little tiny sample tube and it is uh, not full, so I'm not sure how much use you'll get out of it. However, it does seem to, oh, that's actually pretty nice. Uh, it goes on very, very smoothly. It kind of feels like a um, body butter more than a primer. However, it, um, it literally smoothed out the skin of my hand here. Uh, and decreased my crease at my wrist. So I think this is actually going to be a pretty good anti-wrinkle primer, and I will be um, trying that out very quickly. So overall, I am pretty excited with my April and May products. Let me grab the May card. Uh, the Balance Me Congested Skin Serum, uh, a full-size one is $23. Uh, that MAC mascara in full size is $24. The tinted SPF 25 Marcel cream full size is $22. Uh, the Oribe texturizing spray is $46. The anti-wrinkle primer full size is $38. Uh, and the lip oil full size is $14. Um, yeah, just looking at my wrist, I am super excited to try this primer on my face. Uh, so that may be happening very, very quickly. Maybe, um, heck, maybe tomorrow. I might not be able to wait to actually do a makeup video. But we shall see how it goes. Uh, meanwhile, I am really excited about these two months of Birchbox. There's a number of nice products. So hopefully their price increase is actually going to bring a better quality of sample. Perhaps... Um, some more of the deluxe size samples. So if that happens, I am definitely on board with a small price increase if it gets me a better product. Um, but we will have to see how that whole duplicate game plays out. 
uh, if you want to see my future Birchbox unboxings or the unboxing of the rest of the mountain that has accumulated to my side, please hit subscribe. Come back and see me.